<laughs> hey everybody if you are uh joining us today thank you for joining us um this is a uh webinar with shawami and with marky if you haven't already met marky or know anything about marky she is a national keynote speaker she sits on the board of directors for the national association of realtors she is a real estate coach a social media guru and of course, what we're here to talk about today, she is an AI prompt specialist. We're going to be digging into AI in particular and how you can use it in your real estate business today. Marky, you want to say hi? What's going on, everyone? I'm your girl, Marky Lemons Rao, keynote speaker, six time international best selling author, and the podcast host of Drive with NAR the National Association of Realtors, Realtor to Realtors podcast. Actually, you're going to want to stay on till the end because I'm going to show you a way that you can actually become a prompt expert and become a resource to everyone in your sphere of influence. And so I guess we're going to dive on in because we've cracked up. We've talked about people. We talked about ice cream and tuna. Look, we're talking about it all. I thought you did a wonderful job of weaving the orange and purple together. I didn't even realize that color combination could work. And so moving forward, I think that I will definitely wear orange and purple together. <laughs> I had one goal in mind this year, and that goal was to become more productive. What you are looking at are weekly screenshots from my weekly follow-up email from Grammarly. I have been using Grammarly ever since September the 13th, 2015. But this actually tells a story. When we go over to the left-hand side, and at the top you see 40,861, this is how many words that Grammarly took a look at the week of December, 2019. So a lot of us, we gauge our lives pre-pandemic, post-pandemic, and now I'm gauging my life pre-chat GPT, post-chat GPT. So this was a pre-pandemic, pre-chat GPT week. It was my average week. If we look at June of 2023, I had hit, get this, a new record high. 107,040 words in one week. I'm like, oh my goodness, I've accomplished a goal. And I'm going to tell you what that goal is in a minute. Then I came home for 10 days. Now, this is what I want you to envision. I spend this year, I will spend over 100 nights on the road. I average 100 nights per year. By the month of April, I had already requalified for a companion pass on Southwest Airlines through 2024. That is how much I travel. Well, I came home for 10 days because even a dog needs a break, okay? And in that week, it was for me to just focus on my business. We created three new webinars. We created sales funnels for the webinars. We set up our emails to go to CEOs and to communications, uh, not communications, but education directors. We have it all laid out. 374,277 words. That is because we're leveraging artificial intelligence. And so the first week of July, 4th of July, all of that, when I'm here working every single day, I was 10 times more productive because of artificial intelligence. Actually, if you look at the numbers, right, I'm not the only one using artificial intelligence. Because even though I had written 40,000 words, the 374,000 words still kept me in the same 98 percentile. So that means I'm not the only person that's using Grammarly that's also using artificial intelligence, but it's putting us in the absolute top, the, it would be the top 2%, right? Because I'm 98% more productive than other people on that platform. I just want to point that out. 
And this is about being productive, the being productive in a way that aids our business. Now, the reason that's important to me is because back in the month of November, I read the book, You to the Second Power. How am I going to square myself? And I didn't know how I was going to get to this quantum leap. I wanted to have a quantum leap. So then I went and purchased the book, The Power. And I'm reading The Power and I'm like, okay, oh, power worked. I then went and purchased the book, The Magic. The Magic is a 28-day practice of being thankful. In the midst of that practice, I started to see things change. So if we were to look at the numbers from the previous chart based on my current productivity, I am officially marky to the power of 3.16. And it is only July based on my productivity, based on us booking over. We met our goal and are exceeding our goal and the amount of content we're putting out. This is because of chat G. P-T. If I can do it as a mid-aged woman who did not like technology, you can do it too. How are you going to leverage this tool to outperform your competitors? I want you to drop into the chat. How many people here have used chat GPT already? You can just put a Y down uh, into the chat. You can let me know uh, Josh, if anybody's dropping some whys down there for us. Oh, yeah. Lots of whys. Getting a lot of whys. All right. Are you 10 times more productive? Because that's what we want to get to. 10 times. Do you know how fabulous life will be? Do you know I can start going to realtor retirement parties? Because we don't retire. Okay. <laughs> that's what I want. You, I want to go to realtor retirement parties. That's what I want for us. So in order to get started, we would go over to openai.com, openai.com. And you have multiple choices of how to log in. You can create uh, your own unique login, or you can use Google, Microsoft, or Apple. Now, I wasn't including this in my initial classes, but people said they wanted me to go through this step by step. So I'm going to give you just a minute of step by step, and then we're going to speed it up. Actually, I'm going to take you back. How do you sign up? You go to the top right hand corner. Either you're going to sign up or you're going to log in. And then you come over to your uh, either unique log in credentials or you can log in with Google, Microsoft or Apple. I am a Google girl, so that's what I'm always defaulting to, to log into these platforms. Now, once we get <clears throat> logged in, I believe that there's something a lot of us aren't paying attention to that I want to point out. We're going to do a lot of our work today in ChatGPT, but we also have Dolly. Dolly is going to be text to image. My preferred tool to use is a platform called Mid. Journey. I love Mid Journey and my AI artwork is fabulous. And then you have the API. Companies like Shawami can bring in additional AI features. Let's say that they wanted you to be able to do custom messaging inside of the system to the other realtors that are signing up with special notes. Then they can infuse Shawami with the chat GPT AI, and we can do custom messaging to anyone that's inside of that system. So we have three options, but what we're going to focus on is the chat GPT. I do have the chat GPT plus. I will tell you, if you're not using the plus, it is well worth the $20 investment because right now we have at least 1,000 plugins available through ChatGPT4, and we now have the code interpreter, which means that it can analyze any data sets in which we give it, it can summarize it, and it can also create graphs from that information. I played with that all weekend. Artificial intelligence whether it's mid-journey, whether you're going to use Canva because Canva has 12 AI features in it, whether you're going to use ChatGPT, 
Bard, which is Google's version of ChatGPT, spelled B-A-R-D, or New Bing. We're going to craft a prompt. A prompt is a set of instructions. Those instructions can either be in writing or they can be verbal. If you're on a mobile device and you download the Google keyboard, you can actually open your Chrome browser and access ChatGPT and give it verbal directions, okay? And so you don't even have to know how to write, but you must know how to tell someone what it is you want and the tone in which you want it. Growing up as a child, one thing I remember my parents telling me, Marky, it's not what you say, it is how you say it. So there is a book, and I think I might be getting ahead of myself, called Words That Sell, so that I understand the tone of my request. I then bring that prompt over to this chat. You can copy and paste and give it the instructions for what it is that I want. Chat GPT actually stands for Generative Pre-Trained Transformer. I don't know about you, but a generative pre-trained transformer means absolutely nothing to me. (laughs) So an order, right? Does that make something? Josh, what what does that mean to you? (laughs) A generative pre-trained transformer. Yeah, that's it it means somebody created something that I wouldn't be able to understand. (laughs) No, we did real quick, we did get a question. Does the paid version take you to real time or is it still limited to 2021? So let me say this, the pre-trained, uh-uh, the, hmm, the paid plus version mm-hmm. disabled the Bing plug in because it had proven it had access behind paid walls. So um, yes, but, but let me tell you this. So the Bing plug in is disabled, but several of the 1000 plugins do grant you access to the internet. What I will encourage everyone to do, even if you're using the ChatGPT 3.5, which is the free version, there is a Chrome browser extension. It is Web Chat GPT that will allow you to access information beyond 2021. So even though I'm paying for it, If I wanted to know what Lawrence Yoon's predictions are about housing, I am going to use the ChatGPT 3.5 with the Web ChatGPT Chrome browser extension and turn it on only because to me 3.5 is more trained than 4, which gives you some additional detail. So for anything that I'm doing research on, I am going to use 3.5 with a Chrome, a free Chrome extension, because all Chrome extensions aren't free to bring in the content beyond 2021. Was there a follow up question to that, Josh? Nope. I went ahead and put in the uh, Chrome extension link. Oh, excellent. As you've been mentioning things, I've been essentially going. If you see me look to the right, it's because I'm quickly (laughs) Googling it, find the link. And throwing well, it thank into you. the chat for everybody. So I love the web chat uh, GPT. Now, so we agree, generative pre-trained transformer doesn't mean anything. But what I want us to think about, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days and non-leap years, we can have a productive, electrifying, trained assistant for free. So for two months, December and January, I had a productive electrifying trained assistant. I changed the trajectory of my business in those 60 days. I was 100% committed to creating a stronger, unique selling proposition to be in more places than my competition. That was, that was my goal. We exceeded that goal. So all these goals, because remember, I'm supposed to be Marky to the second power, but I'm showing you I am Marky to the 3.16 power 
because of leveraging these tools. So everyone here today has a productive, electrifying, trained assistant that allows us to earn more money in less time. It's about increasing our productivity without working more. The second tool is Dolly. And so I wanted to show you exactly what text-to-image looks like. And this is what text-to-image looks like. Now, this is not the best version per se of text-to-image. It is consistently getting better. I actually love to use mid-journey for my text-to-image. And then the API, this is the background. You have far more control over the results in which you receive and a lot of real estate AI tools are actually infused or powered is better word by the chat GPT or open AI API. So what that tells me is that every last one of us can create a solution to the real estate problems that exist today just by using the open AI API because it is very cost-effective to use. So when we're crafting these prompts, I want you to know that tone is very important. I have a 27-year-old second-generation son. He had come to me, he had said, hey, mom, I want you to ask Chat GPT to write a compassionate and persuasive direct mail campaign script to people age 60 and older. And when I received the results, I instantly knew that my child would never do business again in life if those were the results in which he created his marketing content from. And that is because it says, as you get older, it's natural to start thinking about the future and making plans for your retirement years. Have you thought about where you want to spend those golden years? And instantly I thought that Skyla would never work again. But the value of tone is I asked it to rewrite to a homeowner and add a respectful tone. And then it stated, as a homeowner, you know the value and sense of accomplishment that comes with owning a home. It's a place where you can put down roots, create lasting memories, and build equity for the future. My child now has a chance. We asked it to rewrite. We changed the tone and it gave us what would be acceptable. So Skyla has his marching orders. Moving forward, anything he creates, he needs to always add respectful tone so that he does not insult the person in which he is trying to attract. Therefore, it's not what you say, it is how you say it. So I got my book here. This is my guide to tones. Can I go over to chat GPT and have it to write me a list of tones? Yeah. But then the question is, would I be able to find them easily? So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to, you know, go to the table of con uh, content here. And let's see, we've been talking about productivity. So one of these is making money, okay? So it says that that is going to be on page 52. I'm gonna just turn to page 52. Remember, I want to be able to tell ChatGPT words that will encourage it to give me money-making ideas. Some of those would be money-making opportunities, a golden opportunity, the opportunity of a lifetime, money make, uh, make money the easy way, build wealth the easy way, we'll show you the money, double your earnings. So what would I tell ChatGPT? Give me a Facebook, mm, give me 10 posts to post on Facebook that will double my income and attract more clients. So I'm taking some of these to tell ChatGPT and it is giving me different results. One of the top ones in here is luxury because a lot of people want to go into the luxury real estate market. So if you would like this book, pull up, open up your camera on your mobile device, scan that. I travel with this book. This book these two books stay with me at all times. 
This book was created 100% with artificial intelligence and was number one in new releases the week that it came out. The cover of this book was created with Mid Journey. So now we are an AI published author and the proceeds of that book go back to the Diversity Committee of the Chicago Association of Realtors. Now I have a prompt to share with you and we're gonna have to put this in the follow up, okay? A lot of us don't know what our tone is. And so there's a writing sample that you can do for it to tell you what your tone is. You will copy and paste this with a sample of something that you have written and it will spit out what your tone is. That then means moving forward. If you want your content to sound like you, the tone that it gives you, you're gonna always copy and paste that first before you ask it for something. But let me walk you through the steps. And so I wanted to know exactly what my, my tone, my style, and my voice was. I copied this. And I decided to do a little different exercise. I went over to the podcast Drive with NAR. If you're not subscribed, subscribe today. And we had a recent podcast on use your network to connect to causes you can support. And at the bottom, <coughs> it's a, a Google, no, it's not a Google. It's a Microsoft Word document that I could download. So I downloaded that Microsoft Word document. And I went in and I copied the very first paragraph because that is me talking. So let me give you my disclaimer. How I talk, my style is different than how I write. Okay, so now I have two different styles and tones. One is Marky the way she speaks versus Marky the way in which she writes. I would not have known that had I not done this exercise. So remember, I have my prompt and then I'm taking a paragraph of this document for, and I'm putting them together for it to tell me what my tone is. So I copied and pasted both into ChatGPT and ChatGPT says, Marky, write with the following style, voice and tone. It's not really saying that, Marky. It is telling ChatGPT to do that whenever I ask it to do something. So write with the following style, voice and tone, friendly and conversational with a touch of enthusiasm and personal engagement. Who, me? <laughs> Addresses the audience directly, you don't say. Use an inclusive language and creating a sense of camaraderie. It's got me sounding really good. I want you to know that. Share personal experiences and antidotes to establish a relatable and down-to-earth tone. Incorporate relevant data or facts to provide credibility. Use positive language to highlight the generosity and community involvement of the realtors. I think I demonstrated that to you before I am showing you, but that is how good this platform can be in analyzing what your style voice and tone is. When I make a request for it to do something for me and I copy this paragraph, I want you to know I get almost no plagiarism because whatever it's pulling from the internet, it is changing that tone to mirror my tone using words that I would use. Now, it doesn't say Marky there, but this is Marky's style, voice, and tone of how she speaks which is different than how I will write. And we will make sure that we share that prompt with you. And you know what, Josh, we got to get a nice little list. We're going to have a beautiful follow-up email of the things that we owe everybody who decided to <laughs> attend. Look, besides just the recording, guys. So when I'm coming into the system now, contingent upon what I'm asking it for, I am giving it this information I have written who, 20 artificial intelligent courses. When I go in to write my course, I have prompts that exist that took my three hour writing process down to one minute. Now I give it this tone first and then I ask it for 
my title, my description, my learning objectives, my timed outline, and it's a nice paragraph. I'm putting the two paragraphs together to give it a, exactly what it needs to give me exactly what I want and how I want it. Now, when we are doing our prompts, so we understand our tone, we want to also assign a role. So who are we acting as? And when I am acting as someone, I want that person to always be better than me. So how how should I act at my highest level? I'm always telling it I have 20 years of experience. Now, I could embellish it and I could say 30 years of experience, okay? So you want it to always be a level higher than what you are to give you something to strive for. The next thing is we want to tell it the task. Do we want it to create a blog post, an article, sales copy, email, video script, social media post? And here's where we could use this in Shawami. Because we want to all dominate either a niche and or a market, creating video content, uh, letting people know that you have an arsenal of agents available to show them properties at any given time, okay? For me, playing the role of education director at our company, and we have 285 agents, how do I get more of our agents signed up on the platform? Because my office loves Shawami. And so and they're building, um, hmm, when you can't find that person, you can pay money, right? In your <laughs> office, you didn't use your internet, and they don't go to that area. You still want to close that deal or get that referral. That's where you're going to use Shawami. Then we're going to tell it the format that we want. Do we want a list? Do we want a table? Do we want a chart? Do we want a summary? Do we want a spreadsheet? Guess what it's doing for me now? It creates my PowerPoint slides for me. I ask it for, get this, create a PowerPoint presentations to CEOs on whatever the subject is. Create it either HTML or VBA, and you copy and paste that into your Office 365 PowerPoint, and within two to three minutes, it will create your entire PowerPoint presentation, including photos. We said Marky to the 3.16 power. Josh, I see you over there smiling. Man, it, well, I'm just thinking about how much time that saves automatically, just presentation. I'm thinking from a real estate agent perspective, you've got your listing appointments, being able to sit down and have everything really just kind of pulled out right in front of you and a great graphical, you know, graphic heavy presentation. It can't just, it's not always just text anymore. You can actually get this stuff done in a matter of minutes. As long as yes. you know what prompts to write, right? And then how to how to shift the voices appropriately to your style. Exactly. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, one thing that we did state, we were going to talk about personality. I'm very big on personality selling. I did work at Pfizer Pharmaceuticals for two years as a pharmaceutical sales rep. I was number one in the Alta division for Zoloft sales. Yes, I can speak to the pain points of depression and anxiety quite well. Now, I've never, I don't think I've ever been depressed and I don't think I have anxiety, but I know what it looks like. With that being said, Pfizer told us in our initial sales training that as pharmaceutical sales reps, it was our responsibility to be a chameleon and pivot our personality to the person in which we were selling. So now that we understand our tone, we want to know how to communicate with people based on their preferred communication style, because we no longer live in a world where we just have one message. Because of ChatGPT's a credible ability to create messages fast, you want to have multiple versions of every single message that you have. And I'm going to make a recommendation. You will put them into a Google folder or into a Dropbox folder. And when you put people into your customer relationship management system and you know their personality, you get to tag them. 
Humantic.ai is a tool that you can use for free for 14 days and you can use it on 50 different profiles. What do I mean? When I took my first DISC assessment, it was uh, via paper, okay? And I had to hand grade it. The second time that I took it, it was via the internet. We can do a DISC personality on a person's, in, uh, not Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter, or their email. So I don't need your personality. I don't need your personality. I don't need your permission in order to find out what your personality is according to DISC. What is that? So this personality is used by a lot of big real estate companies. I can tell you, I've worked for a couple of these companies and they all did a disc on me. The first, the first place I ever had a disc outside of pharmaceutical sales in the world of real estate was with Keller Williams. I still profit share Keller Williams. The another place that I worked for Exit, still at Exit, they did a personality. It lets you know if that person is a D, an I, an S or a C. And what I love is when you attach this to your Instagram, your Twitter, or an email, it gives you a printout of that person's personality. So when you go over to humantic.ai, the first thing I think you should do is run it on your LinkedIn profile. It lets people know, Marky's a high D, high I, okay? And when we start thinking about this personality, I want, actually, I'm real D, right? Um, well, they said I'm dominant and I'm very uh, calculative, okay. I want to get a big banner printed. Oh, somebody want to know how to get a banner printed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it tells you that I'm occasionally confrontational. I will tell you I'm working on myself. I'm ROI driven, likely had already figured that out. I'm precise, but practical, okay? What I love is the insight for selling to Marky. It tells you how you should communicate with me and it tells you what not to do. So when we look at this, we can now understand the personality of the people we're doing business with via AI and tag them appropriately inside of our customer relationship management system for future follow-up. So just great things that we can do, but the likelihood is you can increase your business up to 13% if you bring in personality selling. So I want you to think personality selling. I want you to think about some of the prompts that people have already put down. I want to bring everything together for a simple solution for us. One of the books that I published is our Six Figures in 12-Month Planner. And that is because I have a private membership group and I want everybody to get to six figures in 12 months. Inside of this book, I want everybody to strategically reach out to eight people by 8 a.m., but now because of AI, I want us to strategically reach out to eight people by 8 a.m. to solve their problem. Historically, I'm following the Ford, family, occupation, recreation, and dreams. People tell us all their business in real time via social media, okay? That means that initially I was reaching out to people based on their Ford, their family, their occupation, their recreation, and their dreams. But because they're willing to tell us their business, we can now leverage AI to become a solution to their problems, okay? So strategically reaching out, you can do this publicly. I would say you'll probably do it via email and text message, which is my preferred way. Actually, text, text message is my preferred way because people read their texts more than they actually read their emails and providing a solution. So I wanted to test this theory using Facebook as an example. So tomorrow morning, we're going to get up. We're going to strategically reach out to eight people by 8 a.m. By doing so, we will touch 2,920 people in a calendar year. I came over to Facebook July the 2nd, and I said, can I write a prompt for you? Okay, because I'm using this too. And a lot of people start asking, I want to say yes, but I don't even know what for. Okay, not a problem. I went over to Heather's page, saw some of the things that Heather was talking about, and I said, hmm, this is what I think Heather needs. I, I came up with a lead tracking system for Heather. I went over to ChatGPT, 
I asked it to create the system, and you can see it broke down the system and some of the tools in which one could use. Took me one minute, okay? So we've solved a problem. If you don't want people to know who you're trying to do business with, send this via text and or email. The next question, how about some advice on how to use AI as an auto response system? Is that even possible? Inside of ChatGPT4, there is a tool called the AI tool. It allows you to do research on all the AI products for a specific subject, like a auto response system. So I went over there and I used that AI hunt tool, and it gave me some AI tools to use. Respondable, AI Doug, quick uh, replay. And I, is that reply? Reply. Uh, is that drip, drip, diff, <laughs> typewise, Eva, auto seduction? These are all potential options that can become an auto response system leveraging AI. Another one came about. I had a little fun with this one. I would love it. I'm looking to connect with the 55 plus communities to be their preferred realtor referral realtor, as well as a partner with them to host seminars. I'm looking to create some marketing pieces that I can drop off to them. I came over and I said to create a six month online marketing campaign to connect offline, offline marketing campaign to connect with the 55 plus communities and establish yourself as a preferred real, uh, referral realtor, as well as a partner with them to host real estate seminars, you can utilize the following strategies to create 10 content marketing pieces to distribute and it broke down different ideas in one minute, okay? So you could actually do a online Q&A, whether that's via Facebook, LinkedIn, heck, YouTube, Instagram, where you're just sitting writing prompts to solve the problems of people. But I think it is better for us to strategically reach out to eight people by 8 a.m. based on things in which they have posted. Now, here's what was cute about this one. I then just copied and pasted one of the things with 55 plus in it, went over to Mid Journey and it created some AI art to go with it. Now, if I use this piece of art, I'm going to actually cut it off because the hand on her right hand, the <laughs> fingers did not come out correct. So when I posted her to Facebook, I actually cropped her. OK, but she fits the image. So now we're creating our own artwork to go with everything that we're doing. And if we're also leveraging Shawami in our business. Now, this one was the one that was for fun. I'm packing for a trade mission for seven days in Costa Rica the last week of July that will require business casual attire as well as some free days to explore. Please provide a packing checklist that is efficient yet comprehensive for a woman. Oh, I thought that was a fabulous question. It gives me the breakdown of the list. It gives me the toiletries we should take. It gives me the personal documentation we should take. It lets us know that we should take a scarf. It can be used to dress up an outfit or for warmth and cooler evenings. That was a very comprehensive packing list. Chat GPT provided us that list in one minute, okay? So what I've been doing the last couple of days is every day, because I have something I'm going to give you, I have been prompting every day based on my guide of 111 prompts to use, okay? And every day I'm copying a prompt, putting it into chat GPT, sharing the results. I know people can take it, copy, paste it, do whatever they want to do. And what was kind of interesting is one that I did, I want to say yesterday, I'm going to find it for you. Uh, so we're going to scroll here. I actually then took what I thought would be a great quote and created a photo quote. Oh, I did it for the prompts. Okay. Over in what tool is this? This is dun, 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 dun. let's go see. Word swag. 
Okay, so when you get those one liners, you can now create and that word swag is not artificial intelligence, but a way that we can repurpose this content. And yes, the photo on the right hand side is mid journey. That is also AI art. When we think about these tools, top nine ways that we can use chat GPT to increase our earnings, social media emails, landing pages, websites, uh, pay-per-click uh, pay ads, video commercials, headings, titles, meta descriptions, alt tags, keyword research, YouTube video scripts. We have cold emails. We got LinkedIn cold DMs. We have creating code for software because it writes code for you. It can optimize any of your content and it can almost create anything, including the images, editing the images and editing video. AI can be everything. If you want a copy of the 111 prompts that we created for realtors, you would pull out your mobile device and scan the QR code. But and so there was a question at the beginning of class, someone had pasted a prompt in there. I want you to work on being a prompter because now you can honestly solve problems of people in your marketplace faster than anyone else. Of course you wanna review it, but the ease in which it can be done. If we're setting time aside every single morning for lead generation, I want you to think about not only lead generation, but how to make people fall in love with you and your community. And people love a cheerful giver. So for me, it's always about giving, 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 and leveraging these tools, which is why this is going to be a record-breaking year. And we've had, I want to say, every month since February has been a record-breaking month. It has been our top producing month as long as we have been in real estate, and I have been in real estate since 1999 and a realtor member since 2003. If you, I think one of the cool things that I love about like using AI is if I'm in a brain fog for a day and I'm like, I don't know what the heck I'm going to post for the next week or two, I can ask AI to write different ideas for me. So different topics that I should or shouldn't cover based off of whatever demographic or, you know, thing I'm trying to promote, whether it's getting quotes, it's doing engaging, you know, whatever it is. So definitely think outside the box. Personally, I can, I like going on to like answer the and seeing what questions people are looking for in my area. So if you're looking for ideas, you can always search your town in this answer the public.com. And what it'll do is it'll kind of give you an idea of what the most common questions that are being asked. And that's a great way to engage with different people in your area is answer the questions, find the most common questions being asked, and then answer them. And it's this cool little back and forth that gets so much more engagement because you're again, you're going through and seeing, okay, there's a need here for people who are asking this question on this topic. Now I'm going to be the one who answers it right away. I love that. I want to show people something that they might not know exist. So when we come into chat GPT, I went over to my settings. And for those of you who have the paid version, we want to turn on our plugins and our code interpreter. So you go to settings, bottom left hand side, and make sure that you have those two features turned on. When I come to chat GPT 4 and I hit code interpreter, you'll see I can now attach a file. So we're gonna just click this file and I'm pretty sure that I have some files already here. So I'm gonna go and find an Excel spreadsheet, something that we brought over here the other day. I'm seeing a lot of archives, what is this? I'm gonna pull up these numbers from the designations and certifications of the National Association of Realtors. So I'm just gonna hit right here. Uh, to summarize. Now, mind you, I pulled an outside document in and I'm going to ask it to summarize what is inside of that Excel spreadsheet. And we're going to get actually two responses. And I'm going to tell you why, because I forgot to turn off my web chat GPT. <laughs> 
and you did get a prompt too. So once this is going, we've got a prompt ready for you. Yeah. And I'm going to actually turn this off because it is not going to give me the results that, or it might've given me the results that I was looking for. But let me go back to the reason I have this in here. If you use 3.5, then that web chat GPT gives you access to um, any information beyond 2021. And yes, I'm listening. Oh, they want to know where did I go to my setting. So let's open up a new chat. I went down to the left-hand side. If you have the plus version, I click, you're going to click on your name. You're then going to click on settings and you are going to go to beta features. You want to make sure both of these are green. What that then does is when you come over to chat GPT-4, I can turn on either the code interpreter or I can access one of that 1000 prompts. So let's click plugins. And you have to enable the plugins as you use them. And you can see Redfin and Zello are there. You go to the plugin store. We're going to click on all. And then you'll see it's pages and pages, right? Of prompts and there are eight prompts uh, on each page. So anything you think you want to do, you can install it. What was the prompt, Josh? All right. So we've got a couple that have been writing in, but tell me how to reach out to the demographic of people ages 18 to 25 to show them the importance of investing in real property. Okay. Okay. We didn't get a format, so I'm just gonna have it to create a uh, comprehensive uh, marketing uh, campaign to attract eighteen. Did they give me a platform they wanted to use? No, that's what I was trying to find. So. It was real estate investing and what else? It was to show them the importance of investing in real property. Any of the popular platforms, they said, let's do Instagram. Uh, create a comprehensive marketing campaign to attract 18 to 25 years to show them the power of real estate investing and Real property purchases, I guess, is I think. And let's go that purchases uh, on Instagram. Let me, I might have to reword that. Okay. So let's see here. Unlock your wealth, the real estate revolution. Our objective is to educate 18 to 25 year olds about the power of real estate investing and the potential for wealth creation through real property purchases. We aim to leverage the popularity of Instagram to reach and engage our target audience effectively. Campaign strategy, com uh, develop compelling hashtag, engaging content series. It breaks down what that series would look like, collaborate with influencers and experts. It gives you your user generated content campaign and education webinar and workshops, interactive polls and quizzes, collaborative contest and giveaway, Instagram live interviews. So we could take any of these and let's say we wanted to do number four. I would say uh, Elaborate on number four, uh, and it started breaking that down. Looked pretty good to me. Now, 
I should have added my tone because if I would have added my tone, it would have changed it. Yeah, it, uh, that's because then you because right now it kind of is going very analytical writing, it looks like. Mm -hmm. It is. It's very analytical. But if we were to come back, uh, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. Where am I going to get it from? That's going to be the easiest way for me to get it. Uh, let's go here, Dropbox. And I'm going to go to Marky Writing Tone. Let's see. Is it not pulling it up for me? It's not. Let's go to. Dun, dun, dun. So I do know a little cheat code or something that I've used in the past to get ChatGPT to write in my specific tone of voice, or at least my standard tone of voice, is I will actually drop my website link into ChatGPT and ask it to write in the same tone of voice as website. And it will hmm. generate something similar to the writing style that it finds on that website in particular. Ah. So uh, Latanya, I know that was your question was like, what, what tone might you change it to? A lot of, I think what Marky's kind of brought up is that what tone you pick is kind of up to you. And you need to, of course, understand the audience that you're speaking to. It's 18 to 25. So adjust a little bit into being a little bit less on the analytical side, of course, on this case. But, you know, as Marky's got a prompt here, her prompt is more towards uh, showcase the author's experience and accomplishments. Again, it's going to be more on the, let, the higher level of uh, intense speaking. <laughs> let, let's let well, let's see the difference, right? Yes. Unleash your wealth potential, the real estate advantage. It even changed the title, right? Discover mm -hmm. the immense power of real estate investing and unleash your wealth potential with our comprehensive program. An industry leading expert in the real estate field, we are here to provide you with invaluable knowledge and practical strategies to navigate the world of real property purchase. Join us on Instagram where we will guide you through the informative journey through financial uh, prosperity. So just by me changing the tone, and this is my writing tone, um, it gave a totally different output. Yeah, and I'm all for having two or three different tones depending on the piece that I'm working on, right? My blog pieces don't need to be the same tone as my social pieces, especially if my social piece is just more fun and engaging. I don't want my jokes to come off as over analytical. <laughs> so here we're going to change this, right? Let's change it to wealthy 18 on Instagram for a uh, luxurious lifestyle. Let's see how that sounds. So now we want to attract wealthy ones who want to do this to present to the world a luxurious lifestyle. Unleash your wealth potential, real estate investing for a luxurious lifestyle. Welcome to the extraordinary opportunity that awaits the affluent 18 to 25 year olds like yourself. Discover the transformative power of real estate investing and unlock the keys of luxurious lifestyles. As trusted authorities in the real estate industry, we offer comprehensive service designed to elevate your financial standing and provide you with the means to enjoy the life you desire. So that's why I have this book to understand those words. So we can have it essentially tone changes everything. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, we've got we've got a couple different prompts. Also, I know Elise asked, how do you reach out to people that may be relocating in my area? Uh, well, one, I would want to go back and actually spend some time with your local MLS to find out what the likelihood of them relocating and maybe start looking at some predictive analytics tools. Once you have identified an area where people might have and I'm don't know this is your market, might have been in their house uh, for five years and the norm is that people relocate or move every five years, then I would target my market into them 
also reaching out to the director of human resources of company that are known for relocating. I believe doctors relocate more than anyone. So either I'm spending time with the MLS or connecting with human resources. And we got another prompt. How can a uh, how can I use AI to help me with blog posts and info within my hyper local area? I want to specifically write about golf access properties. You're going to go back and do your tone with golf properties. I want to think about golf terminology, luxury terminology, uh, waterfront resort terminology, and we actually. You brought it up, Josh. You're using Answer the Public. I started Google.com forward slash trans to see how people are searching mm -hmm. for golf. And yep. then I go over to Answer the Public to get more ways they're doing it. Once I have that terminology, I'm bringing it over here to Chat GPT. Gotcha. And then we're being asked about listing this, uh, particular listings on the MLS and using Chat GPT to create descriptions of the property. How much information is needed in the prompt? Um, a lot of properties already have a lot of information. So previous listing information. If you're going to use ChatGPT in order to write property descriptions, one, you, a lot of the information about the property you can pull from other third-party sites. What I'm going to state in your prompt is that they must adhere to license law, the Realtor's Code of Ethics, and Fair Housing. Because a lot of people who are having AI to generate their property descriptions, one, they're not reading them. Um, and so we want to read everything that we have it create because it is not ac it is not 100% accurate, nor is it always right. So with that being said, um, I'm looking for, through Cook County Assessors, previous listings, style property, if it has an ocean view. So I could easily do, you know, Malibu, California, on the ocean, with the ocean view, luxury, and it's going to paint a fabulous picture. But those are some of the resources to get you there. I agree. And then Louis asked, are you using the MLS and OpenAI in a CRM? Am I using the MLS and OpenAI in a CRM? I will tell you numerous CRMs have OpenAI, period. Okay, so I'm going to make a, an, a guesstimate here that every customer relationship management system in the real estate space will be infused with open AI by the end of this year. The question is, does that same customer relationship management system have a essentially an IDX or uh, it would have to be an IDX plugin? That shouldn't be hard to do. So I would say there is a system. I just don't know which one. That's what I was thinking is, you know, it's more backwards thinking is that the CRM is already going to be providing that that AI enhanced options. So just be on the lookout for that rather than looking at trying to bring your AI into your uh, CRM. Look at it as the opposite direction. Your CRM should bring you into AI or at least get that relationship. If not, I would suggest the only other thing that I might suggest is get a Chrome extension that has a uh, AI writing tool, and you can just use that as like complete my sentence and just click the space bar button. Which is, gener that. which is uh, generative AI. And I can tell you right now, Grammarly has generative AI, Microsoft has generative AI, Google has generative AI. So I'm going to say every customer relationship management system will have it. I'm going to tell you there are a couple of tools that are um, being built right now. One is likely AI. So I'm going to say yes, because I believe they're integrated into follow up boss and they have a predictive analytics tool. in mm -hmm. order to have a predictive analytics tool, then that means that they have to have some type of real estate in there. Right. To be able to give you the probability of this occurring and who's looking to sell. So likely AI uh, has an integration already with follow up boss. But I'm going to based on the speed of which I'm saying things, all of them will have uh open AI as the API infused. And I'm going to venture to say that next year sometime, they might all have 
uh, uh, MLS IDX something inside of the portal. Yeah, it's all going to just start talking to each other at some point. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I totally agree. That's that's the route that I'm starting to see things go. But I did see Louis has the autoresponder. Yep, we're seeing AI and autoresponders. We are actually, and one of the things I started seeing was MLSs actually are having it set up so that when you start writing the description, it could start using predictive uh, language to do that. Now, you know, it, it is what it is, but it's very limited and there's only a couple of them actually doing this. So Miami realtors has that already. Yeah. And uh, Miami realtors has it. And I'm going to tell you if Miami realtors has it, the likelihood is Houston is going to also be right there with <laughs> them. Um, and then I'm going to go with Kansas city. And the reason is because there's a collaboration between Miami, Houston, I think Kansas city on the mm -hmm, remind so they're they, so they they already have a technology that they jointly own. So I would imagine that they would they're very progressive in their thoughts, heavy tech driven uh, in the prop tech space. Uh, and if you're available, come on down to the IOI Summit in Miami because all of the real estate prop tech companies will be down there. I am actually going to be a judge for the pitch battle. I was uh, up in Canada with the Toronto Regional Realtors Association for the number one real estate event in Canada, met a lot of people that are in the NAR REACH program. So there's going to be a lot of investment uh, going towards additional prop tech with an AI focus. I think that we should create our own AI too, so we too can be rich <laughs> and I financially know, eligible for retirement. Uh, <laughs> I'm just throwing that out there. So I'm hanging in the prop tech space and I'm not hanging there for nothing. Uh, but other than the fact that I right. absolutely love it. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's where things are going. And I mean, what's it? The they're starting to try and slow it down, which I thought was interesting. But part of that is because eventually 80% of all social posts will likely end up being generated by some sort of AI or an AI assisted post. So the idea that Facebook would or uh, Twitter or LinkedIn would one day allow you to just continue your sentence or thoughts strictly in the system instead of using an outside provider. That's that's sort of the realm of things and where it's going. It's that it's scary, but that's the next thing is that we won't have real posts. <laughs> we might even be able to enhance our image as well, right? Be able I to take a photo of myself in front of uh, while I was in Alaska in front of the glaciers and say, "Clean this up for me." Oh Give yeah, they're doing the, that already. The blur. Well, oh, it's all happening. Yeah. In California, they now have an AI lash extension bar. <laughs> Yes, you lay there and the hands attach your eyelash. And this is probably, this is for women in case men don't know. A lot of women yeah, yeah. have <laughs> individual AI extensions. So there is a AI shop in LA <laughs> to do your lashes. I can imagine that machine getting mad one day and poking you out. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I feel like there's certain things that I'll allow an AI to complete, but it to mathematically pick my eyebrows is just a little beyond. I've seen the the nail polish one. My wife was showing me that one. She's like, what's the next development? And, you know, the idea that you could kind of put a design, put five designs that you enjoy, and it would pick based off of your tastes, the best that they feel would hit you the in your mood and everything like that. So I'm like, oh, that's pretty cool. But wh where are they getting this data from? <laughs> that's where I was like, said so they're going, where's this data coming from? Oh, I'm glad to hear that. I want you to start using it and I'm going to encourage you to use it every single day. I leverage artificial intelligence every single day, whether it's for me or me consulting other people. And it actually has kind of pivoted my business because now I am consulting the CEO of Realtor Associations when historically I was consulting like team leaders and realtors themselves only because they're not using the tools and their goal is to attract us, right? Mm -hmm. uh, to meet to meet our needs. And so I was able to pull other data. Prompting is very important to me because I know the better my prompts, the better the results I will receive. Absolutely. So. And Marky, 
do a plug for us. Where can people find you? What what courses do you have available? Tell us about you. So more. Well, I have a private membership, which is six figures in 12 months. Our goal is to increase your income by six figures in a calendar year as a result of your membership, which will give you a freaking phenomenal return on your investment. Right now, we are very focused on artificial intelligence because we have books that are published with artificial intelligence. We have courses that are written with artificial intelligence. We even have our digital human avatars that we create in order to give a visual representation of us. So if you Google my name, Marky Lemons, M-A-R-K-I-L-E-M-O-N-S, and you spell it correctly, you will find me. Just make sure we'll go back one more time that you do get your copy of our 111 prompts. They're available for you right now. And every single day provide value to someone. It will change your business. I love it. And definitely give Marky a follow on social media. She does like to post different tools and tips that she finds throughout. So there's a lot of value in just following her. Also, you can see where she's speaking next. Cause I, I always, I joke because the first time I met Marky, she's like, yeah, I traveled about 245 days out of the year. I was like, Oh, Wow. That's, that's, that's the, that's almost the whole year, Marky. <laughs> He's exaggerating a hundred <laughs> nights a year, but you know what, if we do a hundred nights a year, then it's likely I will fall asleep and wake up. Right. So that is two days. Technically. Right. right. It is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> we get a couple of days at home. I get um, a couple of days. Everybody. I know there was a couple of you that did join that was, isn't actually part of Shawami. And this is a Shawami uh, webinar. What we do is we bring in different coaches to teach different topics um, to help our community grow. We want to see agents go from showing agent to extremely successful listing or buyer's agent. And we bring different coaches like Marky in along the way. So definitely check us out on YouTube. I know I threw the link in there earlier, but also if you're looking to sign up to show homes or get homes shown, it's absolutely free to join and just make sure that you get onto showami.com. But that is it for today's webinar. Marky, thank you so much for joining me. This is our second webinar with you. And every time it's just so much fun. I I love it. (laughs) Well, thank you. I let me know when you need me. And I want to state this again. Our agents use Shawami. (laughs) Yes. 